Hi, Scorpio. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Scorpio. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on here in terms of love. All right, page of wands. You could be meeting someone new. This also could be reconciliation, right? But this would be like reconciling um, like a whirlwind romance. Like we, we, we have a makeup session, okay? We, and um, it's about grounding this energy because if you don't ground it in anything like, okay, have you changed? Have I changed? What are we going to do? How are we going forward? Then it's just going to be a makeup session and then it kind of fizzles out just as soon as it started. And that's the same for meeting someone new in this energy. Like it was, it's fun. It's a exploration. But you, if you want to turn it into something more, um, you're going to have to have something that grounds the relationship, the energy there. Uh, but it does say fun, explore, uh, adventure, um, you know, maybe even good looking also. Um, something fiery. So that's really good. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. This could be fling. Yeah, with the high priestess. Um, so you could be in, engaged in some sexual, uh, you know, behind the scenes relationship. It could be third party or it could just be without a title. It could be without, you know, form, without stability. It's just, you know, we get together, we do what we do. Uh, and there's somebody playing their part too with the high priestess. Like they're not... Um, they're not doing too much. It's not too much activity and too much, um, you know, uh, hanging out and wanting to make it like a girlfriend experience or a boyfriend experience there. It's just more so somebody, there's an understanding here. And if there is no sexual activity happening, then it's somebody who wants to make up with you and they're finding you irresistible, desirable. They just want you because you are not engaging with them. Your, your eyes are not set on them. And you're not doing anything in order to get their attention, but they really want yours. All right, so let's see what's going on. Yeah, King of Swords, that could be you, a Scorpio, especially if you're a Scorpio man. Um, somebody could have Capricorn in their chart also, um, Libra. Uh, this also could be how um, a Scorpio man are looking at some feminine energy, or it could be same sex. Um, you're looking at somebody who's not paying you any attention, you know? Um, you're looking at this person and, and you just want them. You know, it's, it's a high level of desirability. Um, almost like you feel like this person is unattainable. Like they've got their guard up. Um, you can't reach them. The King of Swords is ambitious though uh, and strategic. So it's like somebody's coming with strategy to I heard, manipulate. Maybe with their words. Now, manipulation, we all do it. Um, you can manipulate with your words. You write an essay and it's supposed to be in persuasive form. Then you're manipulating the audience, the, the reader of the essay, uh, maybe hopefully to shift their perspective, shift their way of thinking. You're trying to persuade them. So you're manipulating with your words. So we all manipulate at times. So I don't know. It could be just manipulation in terms of maybe shifting the energy between the two of you, Scorpio. This is what some masculine energy is trying to do. Maybe get you, buddy you up. Yeah. The will of fortune. They're trying to get you to change your mind, change your mind here. Six of pentacles um, and to open up. They want the power dynamic to shift here. They feel like whomever this high priestess is, she has the power here because she's doing nothing. And the other person is doing a lot, jumping around, trying to get you to notice them here. And somebody's trying to shift that that dynamic. They want the power back. Maybe somebody took their power back also here. Um, the Six of Pentacles. It's like somebody's also trying to show their affection by way of money, spending money, resources with the Six of Pentacles. It could be a masculine energy. Could be um, offering or yeah, offering or giving money or wanting to give more time or energy to the relation to the relationship to the connection. Yeah, because this person really wants to have sex with you. They they want the fun time to be back. They want the good times, and they feel like this is the beginning of the end 
with the nine of swords. I'm trying to figure out why the video is not moving. Hmm. You guys can still hear me. All right. Interesting. Yeah, this person feels like you're getting away from them. You're the one that got away. They're going to do something to bring you back in. This could uh, be you, Scorpio, or another person, or another Scorpio. This could be someone you have children with, too. Could be a uh, Sagittarius. Somebody really wants you back. They don't want this to be over. This is interesting. The video's not moving. You can't see the cards. All right, so let's see what... Um, Career and finance provides for you, Scorpio. Career finance for Scorpio. Is that like on freeze frame? It shouldn't be. All right, let's see. Career finance for Scorpio. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. So uh, money looks good, okay? Um, it looks like you're engaging in something that's going to bring you long-term stability. Ooh, um, three of pentacles because you're doing the right thing. Wow. And the universe is behind you, backing you. The ace of pentacles, the magician, the knight of wands, the star card. Wow, you're on the right path and the will of fortune. It says that um, whatever you're engaging in, whatever, this could even be entrepreneurial endeavor. This is what you were born for. This is your life's work. You're going to have some long-term goal achievement here. Uh, your fortune is changing because um, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Your hand is blessed here with the three of pentacles. It says the feminine masculine energy with the divinity or the divine holding that together there. So it's like um, you're, you're doing the right thing and you're getting the recognition you deserve because uh, and you're presenting a high, high quality uh, product service here. Uh, money could be coming to you, a windfall, maybe a payout. You're manifesting this maybe so that you can make another move in terms of your career, your finance here, the star card and the will of fortune, a big wish, a big dream coming to you, Scorpio. This looks really, really good. Um, if it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website book there. I'm so sorry that the video stopped, but the, the audio is still going. Um, you can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I do collective reading, and you can also ask questions. So come for the live. You'll be notified of the live when you click that little bell button and you subscribe to the channel. So thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.